your job this week? Uh, yeah, it was, I'm excited. You know, it's an opportunity I've been waiting for, and uh, it's not under the exact circumstances I'd wanted to be, but uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity I'm make the most of. It. What Tyler tell you? Uh, Tyler, he's behind me. He just told me to go at it, go prove yeah. myself, and uh, he's supporting me 100. percent Oh, they're a good team, but you know we kind of stepped on our own foot. We made some uh, mistakes, a lot of mistakes uh, between ourselves, and uh, that's really what hurt us. And we put, uh, we put, it, we put it all on ourselves in that game. Did you see the film and kind of think to yourself, "God, we're just not taking enough shots"? You know, the coaches have talked about that the last couple of days. Uh, I mean, we, we may have missed some shots. That we, we actually had some shots on film. You go back and we missed them. It's just a little bit of mental errors we made and things we got to correct and we will correct. The first third down when you came in there short guard, it's almost like you looked uncared yourself, like you hesitated just a bit when you got the ball. Last year you just so decisive, just go. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I went back on the film, yeah, it was a hole I should have hit. And uh, as you, like I said, just some in the film room we'll fix and we'll get better at each week. Oh, no, exactly that. I mean, it stays the same regardless, and we're going to practice, you know, same plays go in as a Tyler's a starter if I'm the starter, so that, that really doesn't change it up. Mentally and emotionally, the coaches have said, we've got Dak in the game. That's not a problem anymore, but it, it's got to be different starting a game and knowing you're going to start a, like, a game now. It's, it, it just has to be mentally and emotionally different. Oh, most definitely. Uh, it'll be, it'll just be an, it's the opportunity I've been waiting for, and uh, I'm sure my emotions will be high, but I'm be mentally focused, and I'm going to have to stay calm and just go out there and execute. We talked to You've got the reputation of being a little more of a runner than a passer. I mean, are you looking forward to, you know, maybe proving some people wrong and then throwing the ball a little more and having the whole skill set be out there? Oh, most definitely. Any, uh, any play the coach has caught, we've got to perform, no matter if it's a pass play or run play, I'm just go out there and try to do my best and execute. I much- talked to Dylan a little bit about the exchange center quarterback, obviously. He said you're a little bit more uh, energetic and excitable, said that you know, feel a little different on the butt. <laughs> I mean, is there, some, is there some getting used to there? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a new butt, but I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just like to get going. You know, I like the, the energy and I like to get my guys going uh, in and out of the huddle. It's just, it's just something like that. What did you say to culture? Exactly, it's just a lot of little things, a lot of mental errors we made and things that are easily fixable. And it's just what we'll, we'll have to do, and that's with a young team, and we'll fix it. It's easy to say, I mean, you've been preparing for this, but when you actually get out there and start watching that film and know you're the guy, do you see anything different? Do you look for anything different? I'm not exactly. No, so I say it doesn't matter what week it is or who's the start. I'm going to go in there pretending like I'm the starter and I'm going to uh, uh, get prepared mentally that way. So it's no different. You talked a lot uh, during the preseason and stuff about how close you Tyler are. What's your reaction to seeing him down the field like that? Well, that's my brother. You know, when he goes down like any brother, you're, uh, you're nervous and you're scared at first. And then uh, he got up and so I was good. And as we walked off, you know, I tapped him. He said he was going to be all right, and so I went in there and just tried to help my team. For you, it was even more difficult, though, because you got to be in the game right after that. So how, how do you manage those emotions? Well, you just kind of got to let it go and uh, leave that in the trainer's hand and uh, know they'll take care of him and just go out there and help my team and execute the plays the coaches give. Have you talked to Damian Williams? Because now he's the number two. Oh, yeah, we're getting him ready to go, and uh, he'll be ready to go. He's, uh, he's a smart guy. He's a good quarterback, and he's good. Did you check, check the freshman did the first game? The running and Fred got to play. They did that. How did they do Oh, they did well. They did well. I mean, they did just as well as any freshman could. I mean, and the uh, I mean, what they weren't any different from any other guys making mistakes. And uh, it's just, it's the first game. How did the checks, you know, at the line kind of differ with you? I mean, I know Tyler, as a fifth-year senior, feels confident telling Dylan, "No, no, no, I want to do this. That's good. You know, I, I want you to do this." Do you feel that same confidence? Oh, most definitely. It's uh, it's mutual. And uh, at the end of the day, the quarterback has the last say. So, so. It doesn't matter who's in there, if I'm in there, Tyler in there, even Damon's in there. When the quarterback says something, the line goes with it and everybody follows the lead. How much is Tyler going to be in your ear this week? I'm sure he'll be right there. He'll lead me every time I uh, go on the field. And when I come off, he'll let me know things, what he saw. He'll be right there with me. What did Mark see in the offense as a whole? Uh, you know, I mean, we did some good things and we definitely did some bad things. We, we were on pages with a lot of things. And there was just a lot of times it was just, you know, one guy here, one guy here, there. But, I mean, it's all correctable things, and we'll definitely bounce back. Did you feel like the interior guys were getting thrown? I mean, getting pushed backwards. I mean, they've got some, two good, really good defensive tackles. But did you were you frustrated by the push they were getting? Uh, I didn't think they got too much of a push, but uh, that's just from what I saw. You know, right? People have opinions, but uh, I, I mean, I think I thought the offensive line we played well, and then we we did some dumb things too. So. Brandon said it wasn't so much after you know the success y'all had early. He said it wasn't so much what Oklahoma State was doing different as things y'all weren't doing. Mm-hmm. What were some of those things that 
y'all kind of got away from that first couple of drives? Well, you know, uh, we knew what they were going to do, and we had a great plan to do it. I mean, it was just poor execution on really everybody's part. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It was just it was the littlest things, like maybe someone going the wrong way or someone missing a block or, you know, making a wrong read. Or, but it's, it's all correctable things and nothing like is a big issue. So. How do things change for an offensive lineman if, if that goes, you know, just because he runs a little more? I mean, how, how does it change for y'all? Uh, it, don't change, it don't change one bit for us. I mean, uh, Dak and Tyler are two different types of quarterbacks, but, I mean, we still have our same assignments, and we have the same mindset, and they're both real good quarterbacks. So, I mean, it don't, we don't think any difference. What was the main thing that stuck out to you when watching the film, things to, to correct those little things? The little things. I mean, just your technique stuff, the stuff we work on every day. And, uh, just people, everybody really, you know, uh, messing up on it. So, I mean, the little, just techniques, our steps, and just stuff like that. I mean, How critical does it turn into a positive, like saying, okay, we now have a measuring stick of where we are, where we thought we'd be, what we need to work on? I mean, uh, so, the Nick, I was messing with me. I, just, I <laughs> it all, sorry. What was the question again? Just about how valuable that game can be turned into. You don't want it to be mm -hmm. a measuring stick, but you can use it that way. Oh, uh, you know, Oklahoma State, they're a real good team, you know, and uh, they made the least mistakes. So, But, uh, I mean, it was two good teams battling, and they just happened to make the least mistakes. And, I mean, it just shows us uh, we're so close. It's just the littlest things that we got to fix. So. As an offense, when you're on the, on the field for six plays in that third quarter, is it, how difficult is it to get into a rhythm when you don't have that many opportunities? Uh, that is a tough thing, but I mean, you know, we're going over plays on the sideline, you know, when we're off the field, so we're always working on stuff. But yeah, definitely when you're not, you know, on the field much, it's hard to get in the rhythm. But I mean, yeah, that's just, that's going to happen, and you just got to fight through it. So. Just complete confidence in your boy, Dak. Oh, yeah. Dak's a great quarterback. So. Do you have to do a little, maybe have more insight on the checks? I mean, Tyler seemed to have that down. You had a chemistry with him on, on what he saw on the line. I mean, it seems like kind of it's more in your hands now with Zach. Is that more or less accurate? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Maybe a little bit, but not really. You know, Dak's still a young guy, and he hasn't played, you know, you know too much. But he knows everything to do. He's just like Tyler. I mean, he's, he's real smart, too. So, I mean, he knows all the checks and knows all the reads. What's the chemistry that needs to be had between the quarterback and the center? I mean, a lot. We, you definitely got to be on the same page, you know, because he's calling out the protection and I'm calling out the protection. You know, if we get off pages, it had the running back going the wrong way, blow the protection or something like that, or even like uh, just a missed assignment on the run play. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deal. So. How, and how much have you been working with Dak, say, maybe into the summer and the spring and all that? Uh, me and Dak are real close. I mean, it's not it's not a problem at all for him being in for me. So I mean, I'm real close to him. So what was your him. what was your perspective when I mean when you see Tyler face down on the field, he's not moving. I mean, Daniel uh, said, "Hey, he he's like, holy crap, he's not yeah, moving." that's uh, dang, that's one of the scariest sights. You know, you can see you're just right there. You, you know, you don't know what to do, and you're just looking at him, and uh, you're just hoping for the best. You know, but that's a wow, that's a bad feeling. But I mean, there's not much you can do. But did you take any snaps with Damien today? Oh, yeah. Uh, they got him and Ben Beck with uh, rotating as ones, as a one. And I think they're just going to determine who does better. And, you know, this week of practice, and uh, that's what we're still So, have you snapped to the Damien Williams, the quarterback? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. My bad. Yeah. You're sorry. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did inside drill with Damien. You know, they rotate the quarterbacks. So, yeah, we've taken some snaps with him. So, if he has to come to the game, we'll definitely go. His life just changed a lot. Yeah, this week. yeah. You know, it's just one small thing now. So, might you know who he is by Saturday? That, that. Uh, <laughs> I, you can only hope, right? Right. Are there differences with Tyler and Dak, like the feel, hearing their voice, the cadence, a, oh, yeah. a different hand Dak, on the play? I mean, yeah, it really is. It really is. Like, you know, it kind of sounds funny, but it really is totally different because Dak's kind of like he's kind of like a hyper guy. Not not hyper, but he's like ready, you know, attack stuff. And Tyler's like kind of laid back more, but. And they say the cadence a little bit different, and they do feel your butt a little bit. Do, different do you, as a veteran, kind of look at Dak and just go, shut up and call the play? Like, you know, it's, no, it's kind of I that. Mean, to it's, it's kind of like his personality, too. Right. So you just got to let him uh, roll with it. And, you know, it, it, it works out, so it's not a big deal. Camp and in practice, you were taking more shots down the field than you did on Saturday? Yes, you know. Well, in camp, they 
we do a, a serious thing, you know, just try to get looks at things. So whatever they called, they felt like it was best for that situation. So, you know, just got respect what it was called. If uh, Dak is the quarterback on Saturday, how does that change the offense? It shouldn't change much because um, he pretty much, like, he got the same weapons as Tyler. He's just a little bit physical, a little bit more physical running the ball. But pretty much they, they tip the tack. What about – you know, people, the reputation for him is that he's a runner and can't throw it as well. Is that wrong or is it? That, that is wrong because he's very much a, a precision passer. But he just, because, you know, he'll live more physical, he um he got that option more than Tyler do to run. But they pretty much the same. Same. I'm not sure you're day or two away from it. Are you more frustrated about what didn't work? Or are you more encouraged about what did work in the first quarter? Like, you know, on film, when we watch the film, we did a lot of good things. So I'm excited to, uh, to know that we are a very talented team. We just got to clean up on our mistakes. Coach Mullen talks a little bit about how Dak's a different type of leader. What does he kind of bring to the table leadership-wise that, you know, a Tyler Russell more follow my suit where he said uh, Dak's more of a vocal leader? Yeah, uh, like you said, Tyler is more laid back, but he, um, he lead by example. He go out there, put on his things, and he do it. Dak is a guy that you rally around because he – Make you migrate towards him, you know, he got that energy. But it is what it is. How did he come in practice today? Oh, he came yeah. in, you know what I'm saying, focused. Dak always focused, you know. All our, everybody is usually focused, you know. We take, we accept responsibility right off the bat. Just like, you know, like me starting, I, I expect it, you know what I'm saying, accept the responsibility off the bat. So it's all about, you know, accountability and trust. That's our core values.